Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Sam, and in today's video, I'm going to be testing out new makeup. And I don't know if it's necessarily very new, new, like just came on the market, but it's new to me, okay? I haven't bought new makeup in a long time. A lot of my makeup um, is old. So if you watched one of my last videos where I did my makeup, uh, you saw that. And then I was traumatized. I saw a TikTok where this girl um, got cellulitis from using old makeup. And now I'm like, ah! So um, this, my trusty CC cream, and it's pretty much out. So I needed a new base product. Like a, I don't really want a foundation because I have um one that i kind of do like it's just not my shade i have the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation um so i didn't need a new foundation but i really wanted another like skin tinty cc cream type style now this is is this a foundation no it's a skin tint okay so i have never heard anyone talk about this um it's the two faced Born This Way Healthy Glow Moisturizing Skin Tint Watermelon and Apple Hyaluronic Acid SPF 30. <laughs> Holy moly. It has broad spectrum SPF 30 um, protects against UVA and UVB. It's infused with coconut water, alpine rose, which is supposed to help your skin's health and radiance, hyaluronic acid, which, you know, I love that. I've got it in like everything I've got. Um, it just helps you look young. It says gives a smoother, more youthful appearance. And then it says shake well before each use, 24 hour wear, vegan all day hydration, non acnogenic. Ooh, that's good because I get acne. Also says this nourishing serum foundation. So it is a foundation, but it's also called a skin tint. This nourishing serum foundation with 24 hour where masterfully diffuses the line between makeup and skin while offering refreshing hydration and SPF 30 protection over healthy glowing skin. Our color true formula conceals imperfections with sheer buildable coverage that feels weightless on the skin, leaving you with a soft focus, ethereal glow. So healthy and natural they'll think you were born this way. So this better make me look freaking amazing. I got the shade porcelain. <laughs> Cause your girl is pasty. How the hell do you open it? Oh, okay. So anyway, like I said, I've never seen anyone talk about this. I don't think it's new per se, but, um, when I went on to Sephora's website, this was on sale. So I snatched it. Sounded good. Oh, it's like squishy. The container I thought it'd be like hard glass or plastic focus. Looks like this. Now, just looking at it, it looks like it's going to be too warm toned for me. How is this porcelain? Okay, maybe I just need, what's below porcelain? Just white. I just need white. Okay, shake well before each use. I'm scared. Okay, let's see what the applicator is like. Oh, okay, it's like a squeezy thing. Okay, okay. I'm going to use my brush. I just... Um, washed all of my makeup brushes. I'm so proud of me. So proud. Uh, and I'm just using a flat Kabuki brush because that's what I use normally. So, I'm just going to place a bit on the back of my hand because this is what I do. Whoa! It's very watery. Holy. Okay. It looks so dark. Okay. Um, all right. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Okay. It is dark. Feels very, very hydrating. I need a mirror. We're just gonna use this mirror for my eyeshadow. Okay. Okay, first impression is that it's very hydrating. Like it feels like I just put like water on my face or like lotion. Feels thin, which I like. I don't like a thick foundation. Um, it is not my shade. Like, this is way too dark, right? Maybe it'll look fine once I've got everything blended out. Because, honestly, my um, CC cream uh, is too dark for me. And my other foundation. And they always end up looking fine once I've got everything blended. Okay. Let's 
easy to blend. I will say that. Looking at the skin up close, it does have a bit of coverage because it covered up this ungodly thing a little bit, you know, a little bit. For a skin tint, it covered it up a little bit. And that's all we can ask for. I don't want like tons of coverage. I do like my skin to kind of poke, poke through, you know what I'm saying? Can you focus for the love of goodness? Okay, so here is what one pump, so I will need more, because it does kind of absorb into the, um, into the brush. But here, let me just zoom you in manually. <laughs> okay, well, okay. So here's with it and here's without. It really did even out my skin tone. I have lots of redness and blotchy and acne. Um, it does look nice. It does look starting to dry down a little bit less dewy than, um, it's a little bit less dewy than the CC Cream Nude Glow. I'm just comparing it to that because that's what I use normally. It looks more like a skin. It doesn't feel like greasy and like it's going to slide everywhere. Did we just find something? I think we might have. Like it really just looks like skin, but not, um, I'm going to take another little sport here, but not, um, too glowy, not too matte, not thick. It just feels like I've got nothing on my face, which is the best feeling. I love the CC cream, but it does feel like I have something on my face. You know what I'm saying? And then foundations always feel that way too. They just feel too heavy. I think I might need a little bit more. This, it's like absorbing into my hand when I go to apply it. I really, really like this so far. We'll have to see, I guess, how it wears. But, oh my God, that's my sourdough. I am attempting sourdough today finally I don't know if you've been following along on my journey I've been working on my starter Alexa stop um, I'm gonna zoom back out cuz holy whoa 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 holy moly um if you've been following along on my journey I have been working on my starter and I used the starter finally to create sourdough so today I finally went for it I think it's day like eight or nine maybe ten I don't know um, but it doubled after feeding so I was like I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go for it so um, but I have to go take it out of the oven and then um, take the lid off of the Dutch oven and make it go for 20 more minutes okay Honestly, I really like this. It feels like I don't have anything on. All right, I'll be right back after I take my sourdough out. Okay, so I took my bread out. It's looking like bread. I have to take off the lid and let it cook for 24 minutes. So we'll see what it ends up looking like. Okay, so I don't know why I'm putting that back in there. Here oh, your juice and your book. So next. I would normally go into bronzer. I didn't get a new bronzer, right? No. So I'm just gonna use, oh, thank you. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my butter bronzer. This is the one I always use. So next. I'm on Coca Melon. Coca Melon? Yeah. Um, it's kind of good though to use the products that I always use along with some new products so that we don't get confused. Excuse you. So I don't get confused about what was good and what was bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, but next I need a new bronzer, new eyeshadow, and new eyeliner and mascara. <laughs> because I just really want to replace all of my makeup. It's just so old. Like, not good. Some of it I want to repurchase. Like this, the OGs I've had. But I also love makeup so much that I want to 
start, what's that a hair? Start trying new things because I don't want to always stick to the same thing. You know, it's just fun to try new stuff. So, I'm really excited about my sourdough. Like, wow, is that good, honey? Yeah. If this comes out, I'll be so excited because this recipe I used was a super duper easy recipe. And let me see the girl's <laughs> name uh, that I... Hey, okay, honey. This woman, she makes Mommy, adorable videos about Mommy, homesteading. Broken. It's broken. I'll go fix it. Okay. Okay, so her account is... Ah! The Rose Homestead. I followed her sourdough. It's like the beginner's sourdough artisan bread recipe. So simple. Okay, so we put on our bronzer and oh, excuse you. Oh, I forgot to do concealer. <laughs> so I forgot to do concealer. So I'm gonna go back in with that. So that's another new thing I need is concealer. I'm using. I really like this one though. The Winky Lux. Peeper Perfect. This one is very, very dewy, which I like because on my under eye, I discovered I really need a dewy concealer because my under eye is very, very dry. Most of my skin is pretty dry, but um, with that uh, Too Faced skin tint, I would say if you have dry, dry, dry skin uh, to if you pick it up to add in like one of your serums to it because it is it's not dry but it's not dewy so um I don't know if you'll love it oops love it if you have super dry skin because it is clinging a little to some of my dry patches but really not bad so uh you know, maybe just exfoliate before you put it on if you pick it up. Because so far, I love, the thing I love about it is I was looking for something that, what am I doing? It's like I've never done my makeup before. I don't know why I just want concealer all over my nose. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I was looking for something that just kind of evened out my skin tone. That's why I like the um, It Cosmetics. And I also wanted something with sunscreen in it and that has both so so far it's a win oh gosh I have a piece of glitter there something I swear something like spilled in my makeup bag a long long time ago got all over everything I just washed all of my brushes and I still keep getting concealer on, I mean glitter on everything there's something about me my videos are going to be all over the place what am I even doing? Okay. I've zoomed you in. If you can't tell. Because we're, we're zoomed in. So I think it looks so nice. And so far it's playing very well with my other products. I'm so excited about this next product. Let me just zoom out just a little. My god. I'm still learning my camera. Okay. <clears throat> so excited about this one. This is... I got a small size because I wasn't sure if I would like the shade. Because you know when you order online, you just never know. This is the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush. The liquid blush. Blush. So it's in the shade Hope. And we have hope that it's going to work, don't we? Now, here's what it looks like. I mean, I'm sure you've seen because this has been out for a long time. But my goodness. Okay, anywho. I have seen that you have to go very light-handed very okay now I don't know if I want to use this brush or my flat brush oh, I'm scared okay so I'm just gonna use a tiny bit and let's see what that does Ooh, I'm scared okay we're blending we're blending we are blending Ooh. Okay, and I put powder bronzer, so let's see if it works well with the liquid powder, liquid situation. That is a very, very pretty color. It works well for my pasty skin tone. So it's not very dark, so I don't know how it would look on deeper complexions. Let's zoom in. Let's do the zoom. 
that's pretty. That's pretty. And I barely used any. So I'm going to go in with a little, a little bit more. Please don't make me regret this. So anyway, this is what the applicator looks like. It's just a teeny tiny little doe foot. Oh, I'm scared. Just put another little dot. Frank, you okay? Just blend that out. That is so pretty and it looks so natural and it just blended out so easily. gonna put it on the other side I just gotta check on Frank let's go on to the other side that is so pretty I really should get a big mirror in here well <laughs> I just did a lot whoopsie whoopsie poopsie please don't be a mistake okay 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 it's not a mistake because this shade, I feel like you can't go too heavy handed with this shade in particular. I could see if you used a bright shade, how it could get crazy real quick. So now I need to put a little bit more over here. Okay, and I'm going to put a little on my nose. That's probably too much. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. It's okay. We're going to be okay. Where are... Okay. I don't know what song I was going for with that. The, the dot on my nose was a mistake. Okay. Mistakes have been made. Okay. We're just going to blend that. Okay. We're just still blending it. Okay. So... Wow. Okay. A little does go a long way and I got too excited and, um, yeah, I don't know what to... we're moving on. Okay. So the next thing that I got, okay. So this is a keep, this is a win for me so far, like major. I got, this was free with my points, the Kosas, um, oh no, because I had birthday rewards. Okay. So it came with a air brow clear lifting treatment gel with the lamination effect and then the wet lip oil gloss plumping treatment it's plumping so here's a mistake i made <clears throat> i was so excited about this this is the patrick ta plumping lip gloss um and i didn't know it was plumping <laughs> until my lips started burning so i'm in the shade super super, super facial superficial it's so pretty it's like this shiny nude pink um but yeah it's plumping major volume major major mistake major volume and major mistake for me because it burns it's so burning i i didn't know it was plumping and i put it on um it was the only thing that i tried I didn't try any of this stuff until just now, but this one I was like, I gotta try this out. It looks so pretty. Um, I didn't know it was plumping, put it on and like two minutes later. I was like, what in Satan's asshole is happening? Um, so yeah, and it's very sticky. I can't do it. I can't put it on. I, it sucks because it's so pretty. Uh, I don't know how I missed that it's plumping, but it is. Okay, so let, but we could try this one. Uh, I also got a new lip liner, so maybe I should put that on first. I normally do lip liner at the end, so I'll just, I'll wait. Okay, let's try this uh, air brow lifting treatment. I don't normally do my eyebrows. I used to. I don't even pluck them. I don't do anything to them. Let me zoom in again. Are you zooming? Okay, we're zoomed. We're zoomed and we're zoomed. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just get in here. The laminating effect. I don't know. I don't think that I look good laminated. You know. Okay. How does that look compared to this one? I don't think it looks good. Okay. Um. 
it's just not for me. It's just not for me. I don't want to laminate my brows, but it does seem to be working. Is it? I don't know. I don't know that it's doing anything, honestly. Uh, except for getting all of my dry skin fluffed around. I don't know. I don't know. Ah. Ah. Okay, let's move on. So, let's go on to... I didn't get anything for the eyes so I'm just going to put on some mascara and that's it just to move on this is the tartlet the tartlet tubing mascara and I like it I love a tube and mascara and this one tubes it does the job it is it's a good one honestly it doesn't irritate my eyes I have sensitive eyes it doesn't itch, you know what I mean? It tubes. I love tubing mascara because you can just like rip it off. It doesn't cause the, um, what is it called when it comes off? Um, uh, transfer. It doesn't transfer onto my under eye and like make that big mess of mascara that can sometimes happen with regular mascaras. Sorry the lighting's all over. I'm next to my window, but I'm also using like a light. Um, so yeah. All right, let's go in with the liner, the lip liner. This is just the Sephora brand. I got a teeny tiny one because again, I wasn't sure about the shade. It's the Sephora Crayon Lip Liner to go. Now, I've heard good things about just this Sephora brand lip liner. This is the shade Nude Beige. I will have everything, everything linked in my LTK <clears throat> in the description box. So this looks like this, just a classic crayon, pencil -y type. I don't know if that focused. Let's zoom in even more. Maximum zoom. Okay. Wow. It's just my lips. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to line them. Ow. Oh my God. Okay. I'm going to warm it up in the back of my hand because my God. Oh, it's pretty. Well, you guys, I'm so professional. Okay. That, that doesn't hurt now. Oh my God, that hurt at first. Okay. I think that this is a little light. It's so pretty. Oh, let's see. It might not be too late. I could just use this alone. Like, nothing else. Here's what it looks like. It's really pretty. Once I warmed it up in the back of my hand, it is not too, um, Jesus. It is not too, it seems to write in on my stash. It's not too tucky and rough. I like this. And it's a good price too. I forget what it was, but it's very affordable. Now let's try the Kosas Wet Lip Oil in the shade Unbuttoned. Now this lip oil is darker than the liner. So it's not going to really give it the effect. Like the liner is not going to look how you might want it to look. But let's see. Let's just, let's see. Please don't burn. Ooh. Oh my God. That smells so good. Ooh. That smells good. Okay, so far it's not burning. It smells like a cookie, but it also smells like an orange. Does that make any sense? Okay, I'm feeling some tingling. I would really like this in a lighter shade because I really like light nude um, glosses, but this doesn't hurt. This is tingling, but it doesn't hurt. This set my lips ablaze. Ablay. So I don't have any setting spray. I really need to get on it. Would you stop zooming the wrong way? So let's, let's go over, let's go over my thoughts. Okay. 
So the Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow, this is a yes for me. I feel like this looks so good. I will show you in like natural lighting. Like I'm by the window, but um, oh, my sourdough. Hold on. Hello. Okay, sorry. I'm in the kitchen because I just pulled my sourdough out of the oven. And oh my god, it looks like bread. I'm dying. I hope it tastes good. What? Like, I made that. I can't get over it. I really hope it tastes good. Anyway, let's finish my thoughts. So here's what the makeup looks like. I'm right in front of a window. I feel like I look... It looks like flawless. I only did one layer of that skin tint and it really does just look like skin. Love the blush. Now I want more shades. It is so pretty. Everything feels like I can touch it and it's not sticky. Like it's not going to like rub and slide everywhere. I love this Kosas lip gloss. I think it's called a lip oil. Love the lip liner. Um, that plumping other one. If you are not a baby like me, you might like it. But seriously, that burned my lips so badly. My tongue was burning. And it was like hours of burning. Like it didn't settle down. It was awful. I'm like, who, who can use this? And I didn't feel like it made me look plump. And I, I normally love Patrick Todd. But. So anyway, so like I said, I'm going to link everything down below. I'm excited. I think I found some new faves and I really want to get some eyeshadow. Like I said, eyeshadow, um, mascara, eyeliner, uh, concealer. So if you guys have any suggestions for a hydrating full coverage concealer, drop it down below. I, feel, I care more about the coverage on a concealer than I do about the face. Um, but yeah. Let me know if you guys like this type of video. If you want me to do more first impressions, I love watching these kind of videos and I know I'm not a, like a makeup professional, but just somebody who loves makeup and yeah, I love it. Like I can't get over it. I just feel like it looks so pretty. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.